Leader of the Opposition. Mr Speaker, given uh, uh, the Premier's answer, I have another question to the Premier. Premier, when Daryl Maguire told you about commissions he received from property developers in 2014, you said, and I quote, congrats, great news, woohoo. <coughs> Why then did you congratulate Daryl Maguire on receiving secret commissions from property developers? Premier. Madam Speaker, at all times, at all times, members of parliament are allowed to have interests, so long as those interests are declared. And that obligation is on the member, the minister, or the parliamentary secretary. And on and on and and Member and from Maroubra. And Member from Maroubra is on a call. And Mr Speaker, and Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, if at any stage the Labor Party wants to come to me and say that we should curtail the current activities and what's allowable, I'm happy to look at those recommendations. Mr Speaker. Leader of the Opposition. Premier, given your answer, you were caught on tape telling Daryl Maguire you didn't need to know that bit when informed he would earn a secret commission from a property deal. Why wouldn't you want to know about this corruption in your government? Premier. Uh, Madam, uh, Mr Speaker, firstly, the Leader of the Opposition is making a statement that uh, is the subject of an inquiry and oh, she should be careful, and she should be careful with her words. Uh, and I also I think he admitted corruption this morning. I think that's kind of a given now. But, yes. Order. But, but Mr. Speaker, the leader, Mr. Speaker, the leader of the opposition has just has just misled the house because she's conflated an admission to something else that was asked. Oh, you're going to defend so, him again? So, are you? no, Let's so, defend him again. Order. So, Mr. Good Speaker, idea. order. Leader Mr. of the opposition. Speaker, I say to the leader of the opposition, stick to the facts, stick to what is real, and also and also note. Also note uh, that there is nothing wrong that I have done or ever have done or ever will do. Oh. Just before I take the next um, question from the Leader of the Opposition, I do just uh, wanted to um, make just a very brief statement quickly or, or warning in terms of the ICAC proceedings. I'm going to be reasonably lenient in terms of, in terms of um, respecting the right of members to um, freely and uh, openly debate issues which are in the public interest, but uh, there is a point at which I just ask members to exercise a degree of caution uh, by not attempting to influence or, or um, prejudge what the, ICAC, what the ICAC actually does decide. So understand that uh, there is a public interest in the debate, but just be careful not to go too far. Thank you. Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Premier, given you've been in Parliament for 17 years and worked with hundreds of MPs, are you aware of any other members of Parliament who are taking commissions from property developers? Premier. Uh, Mr Speaker, I say this. I say this. Uh, the Leader of the Opposition sat in the Cabinet with Eddie O'Bee and Eddie Macdonald. Did she know that they were doing corrupt activity? The Leader of the Opposition rises on a point Mr. of order. Mr Speaker, it's 129. Unlike you, I reported it to ICAC. Okay. There's no point of order. Premier, Premier's finished.